And hello everybody, welcome back to some more Rising World. Now you guys probably hear that my voice is a little bit different and that's kind of one of the reasons why I'm, I'm uh, here to make a video for you guys today. Um, I got like strep throat or something like that, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but uh, um, I needed to make a video for you guys, okay, I kind of feel bad about this, really I do. Um, I want to be able to uh, make videos for you guys every single day, but I could do about it, alright? Not a lot I can do. I want to be able to come in here. I want to be able to do some work like, you know, try to add some stuff and things to the road. I mean, what I would love to be able to do more than anything is I'd love to be able to come inside of here. Like if I hit tab and bring this up, let's say this is, all right, we got some beams right here. Okay. What I'd love to be able to do is come in here with some planks and beams and let's just say, for example, like let's just say this right here is a texture that kind of goes in here with that right there we, we can shrink these things but let's say this is a, like a random texture that belongs in the road and we wanted this thing in here okay let's say maybe this is just a part of the sidewalk or something like that well i want to be able to actually come through here and kind of work out the palette mm -hmm. and make the road look like it belongs it's going to take us some time and some stuff and things to do that yeah for you guys and i I kind of feel bad because these past two days I haven't really made a video. Hey, uh, priest, I promise you I will get your church done. Okay, reverend, or whatever you are, just calm down. We'll get it done. If you want to hmm. play with your uh, stuff and thingies, you know, w w we can build you a graveyard. Yeah, we can do a graveyard mm -hmm. today. Let's see here. Can we do a graveyard? What is that? Wood plank 138. Hmm. Let's see here. Can we do that? Let's see here. All right. Let's do that. Let's do, uh, um, item wood beam 1138. There he goes. And with that right there, what that's going to do, let's go ahead and hit backspace on that. And let's bring that thing up kind of like this. And we'll do this. We'll just kind of like drag it across. Maybe we could use this for like uh, making a, a cross out here or something. Okay. I mean, the game, it does have its own crosses in here and stuff and things like that. But maybe I want to do things a little bit different. Maybe I want to take this and I want to shrink it up and add like a little bit of a tombstone. Maybe one right here. Okay, that got lines on it. Um, yeah, that won't make a good one. That really won't make a good one. Mm. Uh, let's, yeah, that won't make a good one. <laughs> Not a good texture for that. Okay, so let's see if we can find a better texture for that. Um, mm. I could do this with slabs and stuff and things, but slabs, you can't make them vertical or anything like that. You could do that with planks and beams. But the game is limited on what you can make, so I'm doing a lot of this stuff in creative so that I can kind of like spawn the stuff and things in that I need, you know, to build the stuff and things, make it look about as realistic as I possibly could. We got this blasted Badlands that goes out towards our... Um, we got to rebuild and remodel that out there. And I got a nice good mixture in mind. Um, let's just hit F2 and let's climb into the air. And let's just say that, for example, we come out here, okay? We got these rhinos. They're chilling out here along the edge, okay? What they're doing, they're spawning out here along the edge because we've, re we've remodeled a uh, biome to our own vantage, okay? So what I would like to be able to do for out here is I'd like to like change the grass texture out here where you would add a lot of bushes, dead brushes, and a little sparing tree here and there. It would, I'd have to start off on a blank canvas to show you guys this. All right, so I tell you guys what. 
let's give you guys a palette of this. I'll give you guys a little palette of this today. All right, that's what I could do. All right, let me pull some of this stuff and things out of my hand. We're going to go ahead. I'm going to hit escape. Um, settings. Let's go all the way down here. And don't worry about what my graphics settings are. That's just because of the way my computer is. I have to have it set that way. I'm actually going to take the bandit spawn rate. And I'm going to drop that down to that right there down to 100%. But what I need most of all right now is this right here. Show toolbar. There we go. All right. Let's hit F5. All right. Let's go ahead. Hit 3 for paint. Let's go ahead. We're going to use the plus key to increase the size of it. Let's fly up a little bit higher. Use your grid key, which is your G button. And you guys will see it has little words down below, but think of this more or less like a tutorial, okay? So what we want to do is we want to convert that into something better. So we're going to go ahead. Let's get ourselves some dirt. Kind of just like patch this out like this. Okay, we'll, we'll go ahead. We'll paint this up. Okay, we'll say this right here is where the brush lands are going to begin at. There we go. And from the brush lands, what I want to be able to do is it's going to have to be compromised of a lot of dirt. Okay, because we got dead over there. And it's coming in over here on this side, all right? So let's go ahead and let's hit that minus key the whole way down. Let's go ahead, hit that grid key again just for this. Now this time, what I want to do is maybe I do want to add a little bit of grass in here, okay? But the only time I'm going to want to add grass in here is basically when I'm coming across another biome, okay? I'm going to want this in here sparingly to make it look like the world is definitely growing back. But I don't want this to look like it has, like, I just speckled dots on it, okay? I don't want this to look like all I did is come in here and add little dots in here. So this will be our canvas, okay? This will be our canvas, this is what we'll work with. But there's other things we could add in with this canvas as well. Let's go ahead, let's add a little bit more in here. Let's go ahead, let's pull ourselves out maybe. Let's see what all we got. Okay, we got some water, we got salt water. Maybe I want to add a little bit of grass blades, okay? So the big grass blades, we got these big yellow ones, okay? The yellow ones will be in like a thicker biome of sorts. Um, purple, we can do purple. We could do purple, but I would take the purple and kind of like patch it and bring it together like out here in this area, kind of wrap it around in this, you know, just kind of bring it together. And here we go. So remember, we got dead and we're moving into a brush lens. So we're going to come around. We're going to leave the vegetation alone for right now. Add a little bit more of this. All right. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to add myself a little bit more. I want to add a little bit of this dirt grass in there. Just a little bit. Because we're coming from one biome into another. Let's try a little bit of connect the dots on these things. All right, because we're just gonna, we're just trying to blend the two of them. Okay, that's all we're trying to do right now is just try to blend them, blend the grasses, and just build like a little bit of a paint job around it. Okay, there we go. We're just gonna blend the two grasses in. Alright, maybe we want to add some of this out here. Let's go ahead and try some of that. Alright, now, 
as I have this in here, what I want to do is I need to be able to add dry dirt in here as well. Okay, and the reason I have to add some dry dirt in here is because we're coming from one biome and into another. So what I'm going to do, let's go ahead, let's pull over this way just a tad bit. And we just want to add in like little touches of it, okay? Just kind of warm it up just a little bit. And we're going to be able to use this as like our palette for where the two biomes will meet. All right, so we want to add a little bit more of this in there. And remember, we want the dirt right here, this main dirt right here. A little bit of grass. We do want it to be dominant, but we don't want it to be over thick. Nothing too big. But to kind of work its way back in to where it's like a little bit moist and it looks better. So like, let's say that all this out here, this is all... Uh, here we go. Here we go. Let's just do this. There we go. So uh, we'll say this right here is all coming in from out there okay let's say all this right here is all badlands over here on this direction okay and what we did right here is we just like kind of make that made it patch itself right into it okay so we can work this over here into it as it goes out in that direction the whole way around so what we're going to do for brush lands let's go ahead and let's hit f6 Okay, now inside the brush lands, it might make a little bit of sense to maybe put some ferns out in here, maybe. Okay, maybe we ferns are something that belongs in the area because it's kind of like it's. I'm trying to think of the, the word for it. Okay, so ferns will be something that's in here. We're also going to need some dead materials for it. So here we go. We got some of those. Let's go ahead, hit tab, and let's get ourselves some dead rowans and some regular rowans. Okay, so we got rowan one, rowan two, rowan dead. Let's begin with the rowan dead. And we're going to go ahead, mix in some of these in places. Just kind of blend it in here. Because remember, we're coming from a dead zone into a, an area that's going to be a little bit more lively, okay? So this right here is going to be the brush lens. We're going to have the bad lens leading from into the brush lens, which will take us like into the plains and other areas of the world. So if we had this over here, imagine this is your bad your badlands right here and it begins to move into something of this nature like right here okay now let's grab ourselves a row in one no a row in two now for the row in twos i kind of want to shove one like right in here maybe put one near these things um put one like right up in this area maybe do one like right in here Let's go ahead, hit tab, and give me row in one. All right. I said, select, select. Thank you. All right. Let's put that in there. Mix one in here. Add this one up over here, kind of like this. You know, I just want to blend it with the biome. All right. Let's go ahead, hit that tab once more. Now, let's think of a type of tree. Okay, one single type of tree that will be dominant in this area. Okay, I'm thinking we will we use willows. Okay, now the willow tree is something of unique. Okay, we could use some dead willows. I'm going to go ahead and place three of these. We can go ahead and place one like right up here. Maybe one back here. All right. Now let's go ahead and let's look up the real willow. You know, the one that's not quite as dead as this one. Let's see if we can find it. Alright, we got poplar, we got acacia, we got 
La 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 willow tree. There we go. So alright. Todd nine. There he goes. So these ones right here will be dominant in the brushlands. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead. Think of it as like you're moving into the spring world. Okay. We're definitely gonna have the uh, uh well we're not gonna be having watermelons in here, that's for sure. So we can go ahead and remove that. Um, yeah, we definitely ain't going to have those in here. So maybe we add a few of these. Add maybe this guy in here like that. And let's go ahead hit F4. And let's get, get out of my hand. All right, let's go ahead. Let's go into settings. Let's turn that toolbar off. And let's go ahead and turn the HUD off as well. And let's just, like, drop down. Let's have a look. Well, how does this look? Okay, guys. So, imagine this is the Badlands. Yes, that tree is definitely going to be in our way. We're going to have to knock it down. Because we're not going to be using poplars for this. All right. So, you're going to have the dead, la the brush lands, which you got. In the well, you know what I mean. This right here will be the brush lands. You'll be able to walk through here. We still got to add a little bit of stone, but you'll be able to see the dead bushes, the ferns, the mix of the different flowers and stuff and things, little bits of grasses and stones. And yeah, a little bit. Of, you'll be able to see there's still some dead grass in here. So that's basically what this is. All right. It's a mutated grass from the... Uh, from the blast zone and you'll be kind of just like walking through this all right so this right here is like the template that i'm thinking we'll be able to use for the uh for the biome okay i think I, that can work out i want to hear you guys opinions on this okay i could add a little bit of mud in here but i'm thinking i want to hold off on that okay maybe we can build a wetland this goes from this into a wetlands like somewhere along the edges and you know what and speaking of a wetlands we do have a big beach over there and yeah we do we do have a kind of a beach front property over there and the road does kind of come through it but guys Imagine all of this entire biome out here. All of these poplar trees removed. And it turns into this. Okay. I think this right here is going to look nice. Let me hear your thoughts and opinions. But until I get better, guys, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to rest my voice for a bit. And I will see you guys next time. Catch you later. Bye-bye.